Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. In today's video, we're learning how to make a four strand round braid, knot and loop paracord bracelet. This is a nice little bracelet that you can make with two colors and one color and quite honestly is one of my new favorites. And remember, if you're looking for where to get paracord, you can check out those affiliate links in the description box down below. That being said, let's get into the tutorial. To start this one off, we are using a knot and loop core for the bracelet. You will need to know how to tie a diamond knot. And if you don't know how to tie a diamond knot, I will link that tutorial in this video as well as down below. So with my knot and loop core ready, I'm going to put that on my jig. You don't have to use a jig for this one, but it definitely does make it a lot easier. And with that setup, I've got my two main weaving strands. I'm going to stack them one on top of the other like this and put them behind the bracelet core. So with the midpoint behind the core, I'm going to take the gold strand on the top right and bring it over the core. Next, I'm going to move to the gold strand on the left side and cross that over the core as well. Then I'm going to go back to the right and take that foliage green strand and cross that over. And now with the remaining foliage green strand, I'm going to cross that over on the left side. I'm going to bring that one in between the gold and the other foliage green strand, like so. Okay, so now we have all four strands crossed over and we're going to lock down our first part of our bracelet. Now the top part will shift, so you'll have to make your uh, about half inch loop or so up top and just try your best not to let that shift around. Now from there, with the gold cord up top, I'm going to wrap that around behind and bring it in front. The next step will be to take the gold the next step will be to take the gold strand on the right side, wrap that around the back and bring it in front. From here, we're going back to the left side for that foliage green. We're going to take that, wrap that around in front and I'm going in between the two strands on the right side. And our next step, as you guessed it, we're going back to the right side with the other foliage green, wrap that around behind and bring it to the front of the bracelet. So essentially with this method, you're always going to take the strand that is kind of the quote unquote highest one, wrap that around the back and bring it back to the front in between the two strands on the opposite side. And I'm going to push up my knots a little bit. Uh, if you want your bracelet to be a lot uh, more, I guess, tighter, you can push up on those knots. So you're just going to continue that pattern all the way down the core of your bracelet. So I've come down to the end of my bracelet and there is a specific way that I've come up with to finish off this bracelet. So with the highest gold strand, I'm going to bring it around the back and to the front again, but this time I'm going to put it through in between the two core strands and wrap it around the foliage green strand on the right side. So it's going to lock that strand down, like as you can see here. And then behind, I'm going to pass it underneath that very same strand, like so. I'm going to pull up on it to cinch it down. And then with the other strand, the other gold strand on the right side, I'm going to wrap it around behind, pass it over the foliage green strand, push it through the core in between the core strands and lock it down the other side as well. And as you can see, I kind of uh, put it through the loop as well. So it's nice and tight. So I looped it in on itself so I could cinch it down. So that is how you're going to lock down the end of this bracelet. And we have our gold strands coming out the back and as well as the foliage green, as well as the foliage green strands kind of coming out uh, on the bottom. Now all that's left is clip off the excess cords. So I'm going to clip off my gold cords. Make sure you pull down on those really tight before you um, clip off the excess. I'm going to clip off the excess a little bit and of course take my torch lighter to it, melt it down, press down on it with my knotter's tool. And then of course I'm going to get rid of the foliage green excess. I'm going to clip those off. And last but not least, I'm going to clip off the tails of my diamond knot. Uh, if you want to leave the tails on, you can do that too. But for this particular bracelet, I'm going to clip off the excess tails. All right, and there we have it. There is the knot and loop four strand round braid knot. And uh, I did this one in two colors, but um, to be honest, I actually really like this bracelet in one single color. And um, here's a quick example in one of my favorite colors, of course, OD green. 
And I love this bracelet. It's very flexible, looks great on the wrist and very comfortable to wear as well. So as always guys, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters for help making these videos possible. If you guys want access to exclusive videos as well as other Patreon benefits, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and also check out the rest of my channels to see what else I have to offer. See you on the next one. Thanks.